I met him at the 2003 Masters in Hamburg. Uh, back then when there was a Masters series there. I was collecting autographs in a big yellow ball from, from all the players. And uh, I was in a restaurant, which was in a different place than it is now. It was downstairs. And, uh, you know, my, I think my brother or something like that said, go, go get his autograph. And so I, I was not shy. I was not shy as a kid. I, I came up to him and I was like, can I have your autograph? And he, he said, yeah, sure. But he, he, he said it in German. I had no idea that Swiss people speak German. I was five years old, so I was not dumb or anything. I just didn't know. You know, obviously, we, he gave me his autograph, he started talking to me, he was like, what do you do? I was like, no, he asked me, do you play tennis? I was like, yeah, of course. I saw always my brother playing, I always saw my parents playing, and then I always wanted to play myself. And that's how I, like, that's how I started tennis. And he told me that if, if you work hard one day, maybe we're playing each other. I think he said it a few times to a few kids. Well, I try my best. I think uh, maybe I was the only one he was right about. to the top 10, Sasha Zverev. This is a funny story, it's true, and obviously he, he probably won't remember it, I, I do. It's, it's great how it turned out. He, he was right back then, he, was, he had a, he was a magic hat on and something like that, he, he could see the future. Today, the greatest of all time, no match for this youngster. 